be reading from The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. Balthamos, Will said urgently. Come on, they can't hurt you, and you have to help us. You can fight. You know that. You're not a coward, and we need you. But before the angel could reply, something else happened. Mrs. Coulter cried out and reached down to her ankle. And simultaneously, the golden monkey snatched at something in midair with a snarl of glee. A voice, a woman's voice, but somehow minute, came from the thing in the monkey's paw. Tialis, Tialis. It was a tiny woman no bigger than Lyra's hand, and the monkey was already pulling and pulling at one of her arms so that she cried out in pain. Amma knew he wouldn't stop till he'd torn it off, but Will leapt forward as he saw the pistol fall from Mrs. Coulter's hand. And he caught the gun, but then Mrs. Coulter fell still, and Will became aware of a strange stalemate. The golden monkey and Mrs. Coulter were both utterly motionless. Her face was distorted with pain and fury, but she dared not move, because standing on her shoulder was a tiny man with his heel pressed against her neck, his hands entwined in her hair. And Will, through his astonishment, saw on that heel a glistening, horny spur, and knew what had caused her to cry out a moment before. He must have stung her ankle. But, but the little man couldn't hurt Mrs. Coulter anymore because of the danger his partner was in at the hands of the monkey. And the monkey couldn't harm her in case the little man dug his poisoned spur into Mrs. Coulter's jugular vein. None of them could move. Breathing deeply and swallowing hard to govern the pain, Mrs. Coulter turned her tear-dashed eyes to Will and said calmly, So, Master Will, what do you think we should do now? And Phil Pullman's writing presents many new views on traditional beliefs in science, philosophy, and religion, which, though controversial, make readers think. If one's opinions aren't challenged at some point in time, how do they know they're in full support of what they've been taught to believe? It is important that we hear other people's beliefs to build on our own, even if these beliefs are seen as controversial, controversial as Pullman's are. 